Sinus bone grafting can be intimidating for many clinicians as well as for our patients. In this presentation, I would like to discuss some common complications that can arise after sinus bone grafting as well as how to manage them and how to avoid them. Furthermore, I will classify each sinus morphology into four classifications and I will give a nice guideline directing dentists how to avoid uh, morbidity to our patients while doing sinus lift. In this module, I will discuss a techniques invented by myself called cluster window technique as well as a lateral window technique that can be open in less than three seconds. Here, use of a specialized instrument such as window opener that looks like a bottle opener can be utilized to open sinus wall in less than three seconds. So as you can see in this video, sinus wall can be opened in less than three seconds. Furthermore, after lifting the Schneiderian membrane, it can place back into the original location. Also, I will introduce another technique called Cresto window technique, where we lift the sinus through the socket or through a crest. Uh, however, this technique is very unique in that it's not a blind technique, as you can see here. And also, in contrary to most Cresto approach where it requires more than five millimeter of initial bone height, this technique is easier when you have less than five millimeter bone. In fact, this technique is easiest when you have one to two millimeter of initial bone height. Uh, in this presentation, I will cover my new classification, new guideline of sinus bone grafting, as well as new techniques to make the sinus lift procedure less intimidating and with less morbidity to our patient. I will cover common sinus complications and how to avoid them, postoperative morbidity associated with each sinus techniques, advantages and also disadvantages of each sinus augmentation technique, and some of my new uh, sinus uh, lift techniques as well. I will also introduce short and wide implant, when to utilize them, and advantage and disadvantage of this such implants. And I will end my presentation with new classification and the guidelines to give nice roadmap to our clinicians.